the man, the Fox old family, me, Mike, and Claudia want to yeah. send a huge shout out to your mother, man. Hope you I get appreciate it. that. Thank you. Thank you. Right. What's your mom's name so we can pray for for real? Uh, Dory. You are Claudia, right? Yo. Yo. That's what I am. Do you speak we're, Italian? We're, uh, um, only the bad words. I'm from Google. Okay, <laughs> Paolo pa- pa- Italiano, poco poco. Let me hear I like him. I Only I the like bad him. words that I speak, and um, you know, so I'm from you, call, you say from uh, yeah, I'm, I'm what you call a uh, 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 a Bacallion, half black, half Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I never used that before. Have you been to Italy? Uh, no, I've never been to Italy, so uh, never been to Italy. Want to get there one day, hopefully, when everything kind of settles down and everything, you know, that's kind of where the family, you know the family's from way, way down the list. So, you know, um, but it, it, it's, you know, it's, uh, they are from, um, I want to, I think it's uh, like Naples area, I believe. All right. so, yeah, <laughs> that's, you know, going way back, you know, my great So you're a real good fella, huh? You're a real good fella, huh? Oh, shit. A gangster. Real good. I, best of both worlds, right? Black and Italian. I mean, they don't get any better than that. <laughs> what what, what you part know? of you, what part of you would you say is your Italian side? What do you do that says that this is my Italian side? Well, I think it's the way I was raised. I was I, I was brought up in a single parent household, so I never knew my father. Um, and you know, my mother's Italian, so basically I grew up in an Italian household um, with my grandmother and grandfather. Uh, no brothers, no sisters. So, but I had a lot of cousins. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, I think that's the biggest. You know, when you say what part of me, I grew up in an Italian neighborhood, which is kind of crazy. You know, so back in the late '80s, early '90s, when you know that whole, you know mafioso stuff and all that stuff was going on. It was just like, you know, kind of right in the wheelhouse of the neighborhood I grew up in. But, you know, growing up in an Italian household, is probably no. It's a very similar. We like okay. to look good. We like to talk loud and, and we got a lot of swag and confidence. Well, Jermaine, can I give you a little history lesson? You're really oh. all black because Italian was born from the Moors. OK. Oh, they shit, were history. They were conquered by the Moors. But you the Italians Moors. don't like to hear that, though. Donnie, you know the way I look at it? I look at it like this. If I ever had, because I heard you guys talking about prison, right? I look at it like this. If I ever had to go to prison, which group would accept me the most? The yeah. black people. Yeah, exactly. So that's yes. that, you know, a lot, of people, a lot of people don't know about the Italian side because, you know, I'm, I don't look like Jeter, you know? So they're not like, yeah, they either think I'm black or Dominican or Puerto Rican, so. But never That's what I, I get thinking. mixed, you know, getting mixed for being like, you know, my mother being white. So when they see it, they're kind of shocked. How did and then your name, Italian... Jermaine, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And your name, Jermaine, too. So that's yeah, yeah. She like named it. me after uh, Jermaine Jackson <laughs> from the Jackson Five. <laughs> that ain't Italian, dog. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Well, she was a uh, she was a big uh, Jackson Five fan. She named me after Jermaine Jackson. So I'm just glad she didn't name me Tito. <laughs> <laughs> How did the Italians treat you up in Boston? Because everybody talks about Boston being mm-hmm. so racist, right? And uh, being, you know, growing up biracial. I, I know I got in fights all the time in Rhode Island, but it was like uh-huh. you know, the whole light skin, dark skin, stupid stuff we had going on. How, uh, Boston is notorious, right? It has such a racist reputation. Did you experience any of that? I mean, I experienced that like, you know, most kids growing up. I think the one thing about East Boston, they were pretty good in my neighborhood, like the Italians were good in my neighborhood because you got to understand a lot of them kind of came over from Italy anyways, you know, um, so they, they, they kind of migrated to this, to this country. So, I mean, but I, like anybody else, I dealt with my fair share, you know, kids growing up, uh, but it was, a, you know, back then when I grew up late eighties, early nineties in Boston, it was very like segregated, right? So there was different parts of the city like South Boston, which is predominantly Irish, Childstown is predominantly Irish, Dorchester, Roxbury, uh, South there, Mattapan, which were, were predominantly black areas. Um, East Boston was an Italian neighborhood, the North End. So it was very segregated um, kind of growing up. But the crazy thing, I grew up like after the whole busing thing. So mm-hmm. even though I grew up in East Boston, my high school was probably like 60% black. So that was, you know, a lot of the kids that lived in East Boston that went to the high school, they were able to deal with a lot of, you know, people of different colors, especially black kids, because, you know, everybody got bust in Boston. So that was the good thing. You know, even though you might have grown up in like, a, say, a segregated neighborhood, when you went to high school, because so many kids were bust in, you know, the schools weren't like, you know, some people I know, I know, Chill, that you've been to Atlanta a few times. And I, mm-hmm. you know, I went to Georgia and lived down there. 
And a lot of those schools, either they're all black or they're all white. And in Boston, it's a little bit more diverse uh, because of the, the busing and the city stuff. So did you get more shit from black kids than you did Italian kids? No, nah, not really. You know, I, you understand, I was a big kid growing up. You know, I, I, ran with a, I ran with a good crew. So, you know, we weren't shy of, you know, knocking out some teeth if we had to. You know, we knew how to throw hands. So I think that was the biggest thing. You know, I, you know, I didn't get a lot of it because I was big and, you know, physically people, you know, were intimidated. And, you know, you grow up and you hang out with certain kids in the neighborhood. You know, people just don't mess with you, and you know, every now and then, I can. Donnie, what do you think about that, Donnie? Let me tell you something. Laughing. Good, good, Donnie. I can tell a real tough guy. He's a real tough. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm feeling his energy over this Zoom. You're a real tough guy, but how I, do you well, know hey, that? What, I, do you know I that, appreciate Donnie? that. <laughs> how, do, how do you know that? How do you how do you figure out a tough guy? Let me tell you something, man. Tough guys, they, it's just a swagger they got about themselves, a style they got. He ain't talking loud. He talking real confidence. He's right. Cool, he's here. And I'm looking in his eyes. See, the eyes never lie. That's the it. They never lie. He's they a win, real tough guy. They the window to the soul. I mean, I still got, you know, it's been a long time, but I still got a little gas in the tank if I got to <laughs> use it every now and then. But oh, I, I ain't got to use it in a while, so I don't plan on using it. You know what I love about people from the Rhode Island, Boston area? Like, they bout it. Like, they really back that shit up as well. Like, I don't know if it's like growing up in that weather, but something about the people from there, I believe what they say. And they don't have to be on that rah-rah shit. It just, they really bout that life. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, we gonna see what I'm with you bottom bottom when I play this diss track in a little while. We gonna tell <laughs> hey, but, but, but Donnie, hold on. Can we stop Claudia? Are you from Boston? Are you from Rhode Island? I'm from I mean, like, Providence, Rhode Island, but it's 45 so, oh, minutes. It's like 38 miles away, but it's all like New England. We're like, all with New Englanders. At the end yeah. of the day, we're all we're all like New England. We're all New Englanders. I mean, Rhode Island is not, you know, Rhode Island is just a smaller version of Boston. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but at the end of the day, we're kind of all, we're all New Englanders. And we, you know, if you're from this area, like if you're from the New England area, for me, I've always like had a lot of respect and try to show a lot of love to people like, you know, even though I never met like Mark Wahlberg or like, you know, Ben Affleck or, you know, guys like that who are from the neighborhood or from the area, it's always cool. We kind of like to, you know, represent where we're from. So I think that's the, even, even out Rhode Island is the same thing is, you know, people like to represent that New England love and where we're from. 